And we are joined with major breaking news, one of the top stories right now uh, on national television, uh, like Fox News, thanks to DrudgeReport.com putting it out, and it's crashed their site. Uh, the Project Veritas uh, site is ProjectVeritas.com, and James O'Keefe, its founder and head, uh, joins us. But you can still go to InfoWars.com, where we have the YouTube video posted. It's also on a national uh, review. And, and I have to brag, it was Kit Daniels months ago that first pointed out that these, these so-called navigator groups that are being pre-enrolled, are, are many of them are known Acorn Splinter groups, and it's come out in New York newspapers, you know, uh, millions of dollars disappeared and uh, in criminal indictments and things like that. Now, this latest case happened in Dallas that he went to investigate. So there's a lot of different groups. But remember, he went into Akron three and a half, four years ago, and that brought down that organization. Uh, but again, it, it just it just reconstituted itself. And, and, and there were many other groups like it. That's what community organizing is, is basically a, just a groups that hold on to the government funds and want to keep the locals impoverished because that's their business. I mean, that's, the, that's how they operate. And he went in and said, I've got underage sex slaves I want to run in America. Please help me. And they said, oh, we're here to help you. Uh, and so this is just an example of the type of stuff that the Veritas uh, Project or ProjectVeritas.com uh, engages in. And I won't go over his whole bio because most of you know who he is. But uh, you've got to clearly say that if, if, if there is a bright center to libertarian constitutional common sense, really nonpartisan, real investigative muckraking journalism, that's why we sell his book at InfoWarsStore.com. It's James O'Keefe uh, and the Project Veritas uh, and the work that they engage in. In fact, there are several different sites. I, I have one here, projectveritas.com, and then right here I have projectveritas.org. But we'll ask him the best sites for people uh, to visit, and we'll also talk about his book some. But wow, just just, just, just uh, looking at the work they've done is simply amazing. So James O'Keefe, thank you so much uh, for coming on with us today. Uh, most people know who you are, but, but I mean, recap this. Am I wrong in saying this is like Acorn Part 2? Yeah, that's exactly right, Alex. This is... Uh a lot of these groups um, are local community groups which get federal money. They received a total of $67 million across the country nationwide. And, and in fact, some of the money is going right to a group run by Acorn's highly controversial founder, a guy by the name of Wade Rathke, uh, United Labor Unions and Southern University Networks in Texas. So we went to Texas and we invest. Why do we go to Texas? Because they have the largest number of uh, people uninsured, so they're doing a lot of enrolling into Obamacare. And we got these uh, recipients, like uh, in this case, United Way, receiving uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in money just for these two offices we exposed, telling us to deceive the IRS, lie to the federal government, lie about our income. And, uh, you know, it's, I guess it's just uh, unbelievable what, you know, you know, what these people are saying when no one's looking. Now, break down uh, the latest thing that just broke today, uh, what you were dealing with, the group that it is particularly, what Obama navigators are. I guess Satan navigates us to hell. They navigate us to cloward and piven collapse. Uh, <laughs> uh, t tell us what navigators are. Navigators, according to the Department of Health and Human Services, is will quote serve as in-person resource for Americans who want additional assistance in shopping for and enrolling in Obamacare exchanges unquote so the president was in Texas a couple days ago and he said that if you can't get into the website which nobody can then you're gonna go in person and talk to these so-called navigators and they dish out uh, millions of dollars to nonprofits and community organizations that have no experience in it anything medically related but these people get all this money to basically sign people up on the on the Obamacare and we walked into these offices and and the video that we released this morning we walked into one such office in Dallas Texas and said that we had uh, an all cash business and that we were smokers and they basically told us to lie 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 through our teeth lie to the IRS lie to the federal government and and forge information on our forms to get more Obamacare subsidies, because if you make less money, you get more subsidies. So they're telling us to lie about our income so that we get more government benefits. And this is the same story over and over again. The illegals in Austin, Texas, and Atlanta, Georgia, one house can get $89 million 
uh, of, of uh, fake uh, tax refunds and no one gets in trouble because obviously there's organized criminal groups in the democratic structure especially that are literally running mafia takeovers. Billions of dollars in fake uh, tax refunds and no one gets stopped and they even tell employers now enroll all your employees on food stamps on top of it. So this really is a plan to bankrupt the country. Yeah, I mean, with, in terms of the uh, non-citizens, uh, what we think that they're going to do, based on our research in Texas, is they're going to wait for those uh, for for amnesty to pass, and at that point in time, uh, everybody will be signing up for Obamacare. But you know, you can commit perjury. You know, you could say that you are a citizen when you're not, and that's how people get registered to vote. Well, you know, we actually have them on tape, and this video that we released today, we have them on tape. Uh, telling people lie in Texas, there's actually a statute um, that prohibits people from um, you know lying. It's I believe it's section uh, chapter 37. There's a statute that prohibits perjury and other falsification. So these employees, these federally funded employees that we released today, could very well face a criminal indictment under chapter 37. Uh, well, I mean, look, look, everybody knows there's federal and state statutes on lying in documents for financial aid. Uh, I mean, it's, there's a whole bunch of laws it violates. The federal law, but even the state law, I mean, the perjury, it, it, it's this remarkable. This is people think oh, you're right wing extremists. No, there's nothing right wing about this. In fact, I mean, they're defrauding the federal government. They're defrauding the health and human services because people that need the benefits can't get them. But you know, I, I make sixty or seventy thousand dollars a year, and they're telling me lie about your income. Say you make fifteen thousand dollars a year. It's basically Medicaid and Medicare fraud. And by the way, for those that don't know, I want you to continue. We're going to play a clip here in a moment of this new video you released today. That's national headlines, and we're very thankful you're here with us. So James O'Keefe joins us, ProjectVeritas.com. But for folks that don't know, we're already bankrupt at current expenditures. If they bring in 30 more million illegals, if they keep having everybody be three or four welfare checks, we will go bankrupt. So let me ask you this question before we play the clip. What do you think the plan is? Because Obama's double the debt. Obama, and his, I mean, they really are trying to wreck the country. Do, do you agree with that? Uh, based on our video in, in Texas, it looks like not only are they, uh, you know, is there the money being wasted, but... The video shows that the enroll America people, the, the Obamacare people, are working with political action committees to turn Texas into a battleground state. They're turning it into a Democratic-run state by using the data they get from enrolling people for health care. That's, that's illegal. That's immoral. That's wrong on so many levels. You can't, you can't implement a federal program and then use that to change the politics of the state, but that's exactly what they say they're doing and it's in the video by the way yeah, the whole video is up on infowars.com and drudgereport.com right now your site unfortunately is down but but expanding on that my dad for some reason got on a democratic party mailing list he's also on the republican party mailing list he's more of a libertarian but he gives to republican you know uh, uh, libertarian candidates but somehow he got on a democratic list because the company he worked for had given some money to a, a candidate years ago, and he was showing me this letter before he left town. When he gets back from town in a week, I'm gonna try to get him on the show if he'll do it. And the letter said, come to our emergency training meeting. We're going to turn uh, Texas uh, blue, and we're going to use Obamacare to do it. This is our time forward, which is a socialist slogan. So yeah, the, the uh, head of the Democratic Party, as you know, yesterday said on CNN, we're gonna use that they're not getting it as the reason to keep supporting us to, to, so, so yes, this they're making their move, and they they will bring in enough foreigners and people in Texas to literally come take my guns. I mean, this is a group of pirates. So, so uh, what's your take on that? Well, I think that you know it, it's it's illegal for a five hundred one c three group in rural America to give data to a political action committee. So, what my take is is that what we're going to do is we're going to expose it. We're gonna we're gonna catch it catch it on tape. We've already got this first video here, and we're gonna move on to the next series of videos that we're releasing. This has been a three month investigation. Project Veritas stuff is very expensive. It's very dangerous. We spend months out there doing it, but um, we got we got Alex. We got about two hundred hours of videotape of Battleground Texas, of Enrolled America, of navigators not only in Texas but elsewhere as well, telling us how to commit fraud. And I think what we need to do is outrage the American people and, and uh, get the reactions from uh, politicians, light a fire under them to a certain extent, and hopefully there'll be some change. Well, for those that don't know, uh, 
this is is just so fundamental what's happening obama promised to create a national security force just as big and just as strong as our military that's what he's doing with the chicago urban organizer model they cut off the resources cut off the jobs put everybody on welfare and then to get the welfare, you've got to become a political action person, a literal political mercenary. Let's play uh, part of this exclusive breaking video. Here it is. Obamacare navigators that receive millions of dollars of federal taxpayer money telling applicants to lie about their health status. Lie because your premiums will be high. Okay. Obamacare navigators advising applicants that they always lie. Don't tell them. Oh, I'm about that. Yeah, but don't tell them. Uh, I always allow my... Okay. <laughs> Obamacare navigators counseling applicants how to defraud the federal government. Making money on a cash basis. Okay. Don't get yourself in trouble by declaring it now. Exactly. Yeah, it didn't happen. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely with that other, just act as if that... Didn't ha happen. Okay. <laughs> Never report. That. Okay. Days after President Obama thanked navigators in Dallas for signing people up on the new government-run health care exchange. If people can't get through the website, people can apply in person if they've got committed folks who are out there helping people to sign up. Okay. Project Veritas heads to Texas to expose Obamacare navigator fraud. There are, there are a few navigators here in town. I haven't been able to get anybody locked in. Project Veritas in Texas. <laughs> Riding on the road. Mine, what's up, Mom Barkey? I've got my hat. And we are in Roll America. We are a 501c3 nonprofit, nonpartisan organization. What Enroll America does is it goes, we are, we're running a campaign called Get Covered America. We are right now in 11 states. Um, obviously, uh, with uh, Texas being the biggest because we have the most uh, uninsured in the country. There are, there are a few navigators here in town that have, that got. That, that has received grants from the National All right, folks, it's powerful already, but we, have, we don't have time to get to the real meat of it. it it's up on DrudgeReport.com, InfoWars.com. I tell you, go to Project Veritas, uh, but their uh, site is down from massive traffic right now. It's important to get this video and, and get it out everywhere because they will try to take it down. They will try to block it, but it's important to get the full video out there. And, and of course, Mr. O'Keefe doesn't go over the hell he's gone through, being sued, arrested, but always defeating it later. Uh, for telling the truth, he he literally uh, is walking point for everybody. But here's the issue. Notice, and I said this, I said the website, I said the system will not work. I said, you watch, because the bill doesn't give you free health care, doesn't do all this. And then, of course, that's the plan. Then send you to the community organizers who are Democratic operatives, and you have that on the video, you know, saying that they then hand it over to the Democrats, and you're literally being enrolled into the Democratic Party for the federal money. Uh, so this is just a mainlining of what they've always been doing and then make the country socialist. Everybody will vote to take our guns and make us slaves. James O'Keefe, uh, tell folks what else is on the video. So Alex, on the rest of the video, there's a, a, a video, a clip of uh, these two offices, National Urban League, which get $400,000 in taxpayer, federal taxpayer money to sign people up for Obamacare in Texas, uh, counseling, our reporter who, who says he's a smoker, he says, just lie so that your premiums can be lower. That's, that's a crime. You can't lie about your health status to the federal government. And then there's also video footage of Enroll America, which is a 501c3 group uh, sharing and cross-pollinating data with a political action committee called Battleground Texas. The purpose of Battleground Texas in simple terms is to turn Texas blue because these people think that Texas is a non-voting state. So if they just sign a lot of people up to vote, it'll turn into a democratic state. They're using Enroll America and Obamacare as a, as a mechanism to turn Texas into a blue That's right. state. That's right. And, and, and Texans, Texans had better, better stop taking it for granted uh, that, that we're safe and we're going to keep our guns and stuff. No, they have announced this is their target. They will break Texas. Go ahead. 
So what we're going to be looking at in, the, in part two, and, and, and El Navigator fraud is bad. It's it's the these are the troops, these are the ground troops, if you will, the people who sign people up. So it's very important we expose all these navigators, which we will do. But even more important than that is the leadership of Enroll America, and they have a, a project called Get Covered America, which is a project of Enroll America. This organization is getting data. Uh, your medical data, your names, your telephone numbers, maybe even your social security numbers, and they're using that to get out the vote. They're using that for political purposes, which is a violation of your of your privacy, and it's against the law. And that's what that's what we're going to be doing in the coming days. We're going to be releasing that tape. Amazing, and and you just released this. I would imagine you're you're uh, you're getting silence from the state-run media, but 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 what media is picking this up? Uh, you know, right now it's on the top of Drudge Report, which is very helpful. It's, I mean, you know, you know, Alex, they can they can try to censor me on the you know state sponsored media all they want, but it's viral on Facebook. It's got twenty thousand shares on Facebook. It's going in insanely viral. Local media is on fire. The Dallas newspaper is reporting on it. Uh, the senator, uh, both U.S. senators in Texas are commenting on it. Uh, the attorney general's office in Texas is going to be issuing a statement shortly, for, according to one source. So they can try to you know, censor me, which they've done for my whole life. But the fact of the matter is, once you get these government officials commenting and the workers may have to resign, there might be a criminal indictment. You know, as soon as that comes to pass, then we'll start releasing the next tape. And that's really how we infiltrate the mainstream media. Well said. Come back with one more segment. James O'Keefe, ladies and gentlemen, he, of course, uh, is the founder and the uh, head director of ProjectVeritas.com. Could not be a more hardcore, pro-liberty, pro-reality investigative journal group. You can see our articles up at Infowars.com covering it. Obamacare, the truth about navigators. Why is nascent iodine so important? Nascent iodine is so important because it goes directly to the thyroid. It's not bonded to a salt, which means it doesn't have to be broken down. And it's the most usable form. It's what the body uses. It's what the body is designed to use. If you have low energy levels, if you have pains, if you have thyroid problems, if you don't feel up to par, well, they've proven now that the fluoride and a lack of iodine causes a decreased IQ because you have all this stuff that builds up inside your system and builds up and builds up. And that's why some people, when they start taking iodine, will have what's called a Hertzheimer reaction or a detoxification reaction. But that's a good sign. That means you're detoxifying all that fluoride buildup, the mercury buildup in there, the bromine buildup in your system, and the chlorine buildup in your system. You don't want those things. All of those things have been proven as carcinogens. That's one of the reasons prostate cancer is on the rise, too, is because prostate takes up iodine and the men that are lacking iodine causes the prostate to become cystic and causes the prostate to swell and eventually leads to prostate cancer. There's been an extreme rise in polycystic ovarian disease, PCOS with women, fibrocystic breast disease because iodine is stored in the breast tissue, the ovaries, the prostate glands in men. It's utilized by every single cell in the body. Mm, why does this almost taste good compared to other iodine that tastes horrible? That's because it's real iodine atomic form. We wanted something that's going to go straight into the bloodstream and straight into the thyroid gland. We wanted to put it in a vegetable glycerin base. That's a USP kosher certified vegetable glycerin base. And that product is not tested on animals. It's vegan friendly. It's gluten free. It's GMO free. Of all the things I've done, nascent iodine was just absolutely amazing. So we developed with Dr. Group a double strength, low price, InfoWars Life Dot com survival shield the atomic nascent iodine available right now all right final segment with james o'keefe and the transmission's over we're gonna have more on this tonight on the nightly news seven o'clock central for viewers of infowarsnews.com we're gonna get a few final comments from james here in a moment and play a clip where they say it's our goal as a 501c3 to turn the state blue whereas they go out and tell pro-lifers they can't even be christian of their 501c3 I mean, this is amazing, but here's some of the other articles on InfoWars.com right now. Uh, exclusive, uh, Snowden-level documents reveal stealth DHS spy grid, tracking everything you do in real time. Amazing. And we have the whole PDF, all of it, has now been added to the story on InfoWars.com.
Uh, then continuing, this is linked on DrudgeReport.com, DHS funds installation of white boxes that can track population of entire city. Former NSA uh, uh, head argues that the government's secrecy is the same as personal privacy. Uh, just uh, outrageous what's going on. It's a revolution of people in government allied with select corporations to just lawlessly take over. It's like when your employees think they're the boss and mutiny or something. That's what tyranny is. James O'Keefe, who heads up the uh, Veritas Project, or Project Veritas, always flipping around backwards, Project Truth, is with us. And I want to play this final clip and get your take on it. This, again, is the Democrats masquerading as Obama enrollees, saying their goal is to turn the state into a Democratic stronghold, all the better to then milk it, of course. Here you go. And their purpose, in simple terms, is to turn Texas blue. Okay. So we're a grassroots organization dedicated to turning Texas blue. Yeah. <laughs> turning Texas into a battleground state. If we can change that, we can, uh, we can change the course of elections we can rule pretty, the world pretty, pretty drastically. Now, battleground Texas has a long-term strategy. They're not just going to play until 2014, they go home. This thing is a long-term process. I mean, this is years coming. Yep, it's a military operation, and they are in charge, and they say on MSNBC, your kids belong to them. So this is, this is how they build an empire. They don't build widgets or farms or jobs. They run your life, and they will run it. And they're the slave masters of old, reborn as the loving trendies. And the Republican Party is run by some of the same people, so they won't oppose it at the national level. James O'Keefe, uh, any other points you want to make about what we're dealing with here? And uh, I bet you're bracing for the repercussions. Uh, these folks uh, never sit back when you expose what, what they do secretly. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out if it's Kathleen Sibelius who's uh, who's involved in our website being forbidden uh, 403, or if it's uh, <laughs> or if it's the NSA, but uh, we uh, or if it's the traffic. But um, you know, in terms of repercussions, this is not my first rodeo, Alex. I've been subpoenaed half a dozen times. I've been sued. I've been uh, incarcerated uh, for a crime I didn't commit. And um, at this point in time. What we're looking for is we're looking for a breakthrough into the mainstream media. And the way we think we can do that is by just continuing to release these tapes one by one. And I think we might actually get the attention of the White House on this one. I think if we keep releasing these navigators and they launch, you know, criminal investigations into them. Um, you know, this, you know, Texas is not as bad as New York or California in terms of the repercussions towards me because Texas is a one party consensus. Sure, but what they do is they collapse California and New York and then send their vanguard as vampires to suck us dry. So we, we commend what you've done. They're going to flee the cities they already suck dry and the states they already suck dry. But yes, we hope they don't try to set you up again. But uh, uh, again, your book, we sell it at InfoWarsStore.com. It's breakthrough. It's a riveting story of all your exploits, but also a roadmap, a manifesto, a battle plan for other citizen journalists to absolutely, I mean, I tell my journalists, look at this. This is the model of investigative journalism. Go ahead and final comments. Yeah, Alex, I think you're right. I think, uh, you know, to be, a, as I said on last time I was on your show, you know, to be a journalist these days, you got to go out into the wilderness. You have to be independent. You have to, you can't, you can't do it if you're part of the establishment. So I encourage others to do the same. Well, God bless you. We want to get updates, obviously, this week and next week from you, James O'Keefe. Uh, Godspeed, my friend. Thank you so much. All right, there goes James O'Keefe. And, of course, he heads up Project Veritas. Uh, and their site is down right now, uh, probably because of mega traffic. But they have tried to block these videos before. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.